Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be going through various areas of Mazatlan and what they have to offer for expats and tourists. So let's get into this video. For all my cruisers, this one's for you. Right outside of the port, there is no shortage of taxis and pulmonias waiting to give you an almost free ride, as well as lots of different <laughs> tour guides ready to offer you an excursion in the beautiful Mazatlan. But before you leave the port, there are a bunch of shops where you can get souvenirs and different clothing and things, as well as a pharmacy for any of your medication or sunscreen because you will need it. There is also a couple of spots to stop and grab a snack and drink if you would like to, and a mini mercado over on the side. But like I said, I believe this area is only meant for those of you coming on a cruise. Along with many signs, there is the famous blue line that guides cruisers and anyone else who may be coming from the Playa Sur area towards Centro Histórico. But before we talk about that, let's talk about Playa Sur. For anyone needing to do immigration related things in Mazatlan, here is INM. The first area we're going to talk about is Playa Sur. This is a common residential area for expats to find rentals and condos. One of the reasons that people like this area is because it is calmer than other areas of Mazatlan and it's also very walkable. Um, right around the corner it are some of the most common tourist attractions, El Faro and the Observatory, as well as Stone Island a little further down. But I won't talk about those because I have made videos about those in the past, so go check those out after this video. They'll be linked in the description. And um, another thing is the restaurants. There are restaurants near the residential areas, such as this one, which we have been to a couple of times, and it is very good. So I definitely recommend it. Centro Historico, also known as downtown Mazatlan, is full of history. From the beautiful Plazuela Machado, the Angela Peralta Theater, the cathedral, Mercado Pino Suarez, several other plazas, old and colorful architecture, and lots of restaurants and food stands, plus the music and culture. There is always something new to discover. This is one of my favorite areas to spend time in. Olas Altas. This is where one side of the Malacón begins and it, the beach is lined with tons of restaurants and bars with beautiful views. As well as the hotels such as Hotel Belmar, Best Western, and some other ones that I don't remember the names of. As I mentioned in my bike video, this platform near La Clavadista fills with carts selling all sorts of drinks and snacks to enjoy while you walk around the Malacón. This is another beautiful area to come spend time at, and of course there is the beautiful beach itself. Whether you just want to pass the time with friends or your beloved pets in these open green spaces and sporting fields or at the skate park, there are so many places available here in Teheria that you may enjoy, including the aquarium, The 
Vanalo's baseball stadium? And Central Park. However, I have already made more specific videos about all three of these and they will be linked in my description or you can go check them out on my channel page. So there you go. Those are the first areas of Mazatlan that I will be telling you guys about. I hope to make a second part to this video. Let me know in the comments if you would want that and if there's any specific activities or things that you would be looking for in an area of town when considering moving here or even just visiting. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a big thumbs up. If you guys haven't seen any of the videos that I referred to in this video, I do suggest going to check those out because they were lots of fun. And if you guys haven't already, please consider subscribing. It really helps. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week.